Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Frontier Wars from Van Ryder Games. Two to four players, 30 to 120 minutes. Recreate the battles of the largest conflict in history. Manage your resources, make bold tactical maneuvers with your troops, forge alliances that suit your interests. Frontier Wars allows you to take control of one of the four most relevant armies from World War II, the US, the UK, Germany, or Russia. All right, well, World War II themed game. Cover might have given that away. Let's take a look inside the box. Here's our battle rule book. Obviously it's a war themed game. I don't know if mechanics, that's gonna be the, the case, but it kind of has a look of a skirmish game, just looking at some of the components very briefly here. Selecting armies. How to win, destroying every enemy's op every opponent's headquarters, earning as many VPs as indicated by the scenario, or completing the definitive weapon investigation in the arms race. Okay, so three different ways you can win. It looks like, and it goes into details about the different uh, battle resolutions, some optional rules, fog of war and decoy tokens, rivers and bridges. So you've got some terrain rules, team games, random maps, and then you've got a mission book. So these are different setups. This is a beginner setup. It tells you which tiles to use, or maybe, I don't know if these are hexes, we'll have to take a look. Yeah, it does say the different tiles, the duration, and the victory condition. So it looks like for the number of players and the difficulty and the length of the game can all be pretty variable depending upon the type of mission that you choose to play. And then a special scenario here. Two versus one. Create your own scenario. All right. Take a look at some of the cardboard components here. These are fine, fine quality. They're not terribly thick, but they, they should get the job done. There we go. Gives you a pretty good idea of the different cardboard components you've got. You've got a whole lot of these map tiles. Let's take a look at these. They are double-sided. Just kind of flip through some of them. They've got some information on them. Some very basic information. Others might have a bit more. This has nothing on the other side. Water. Okay. You get the idea. Some pretty sparse art, uh, but there's probably going to be a lot of other things going on. So maybe you don't want a whole lot of things to get in the way because you're going to have tokens and you're going to have units and things along those lines. At least that's the way it appears. Let's look at our different player boards here. We've got Germany, We've got your starting resources, your starting troops, your skill. We've got side A and side B. Okay, so that's nice. USSR, side A and side B. United States, side A, side B, attacker and defender, so a battle tracker, probably a score tracker, be my guess, and then a place for different types of cards, which we'll be looking at here in a moment. Let's look at them now. While, we've, while we're talking about it, let's take a look at these cards. Pretty large deck of cards. All right, so we've got some attack orders here. Logistics advancement, plutonium, blitzkrieg, night attack, sharpshooter, poisonous gas. Okay, so attack order cards. All right, this is I1. This is one of those cards you can share on social media if you like to do that. We've got some defensive orders, withdrawal, retreat, Machine gun nest. OK, 
Okay. Tactical orders, supplies. All right. So attack, defense, and tactics, and then some player aid cards, double-sided player aid cards. Give you some general information. All right. The last thing we'll look at are these little plastic minis. I'm just going to pick one color here because I think this is going to give us a general idea of what we're looking at. So they are small. We've got little weaponry there. I don't know if you can really make that out very easily. Got some troops. Got some airplanes. Got some tanks. I think you can get the general idea of what we're looking at here. And we've got that for the different countries in different player colors. All right, well, World War II themed game where you are setting up different missions and trying to fulfill different scenarios. That is Frontier Wars. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. <laughs>